Hi, welcome to the Java Tutorials. And in this example, I'm going to demonstrate how to write a 2D drawing program that creates a um, set of circles, random circles on the drawing canvas. And we'll want our end product to look something like this. That is, we want the circles to be random sizes, random colors, and placed in random locations on the canvas. So to begin with, let's think about how we would go about just, create, just drawing a single random circle. So in order to draw a random circle on our drawing canvas, we'll need to generate a random color, generate a random width or size for our circle, generate a random XY coordinate, set the color, and then finally draw the circle. So just a little bit about how we would um, instantiate a random color. So if you recall, colors are made up of color numbers, um, are also known as RGB values, and these values can be between 0 and 255. So over here, if we look at the um, purple color here, we can see that its color number um, for red is 125, green is 68, and blue is 140. So um, there doesn't have to, to be a predefined color in Java for purple. We have color.red and color.black and so forth, but we don't have color.purple. So if we wanted to, to draw something in purple in our um, program, we would need to create a new color. And so we would do that by saying color purple equal new color, and we would pass it these RGB values, this 125, 68, and 140. Then we would use the graphic set color method to set the color to purple. So in our program, we'll basically do this um, as well, except we'll generate random our red, green, and blue values to instantiate our random colors. So let's get to the program. Okay, so this is a drawing program. So let me uh, start out by, by pointing out that the drawing canvas.java file needs to be in the current directory so that I can use it uh, for drawing. And remember, this is not part of the standard Java library. It's a, um, it's a separate uh, file that you need to download from the 144 web page in order to use it. There are a couple other classes that we need to be able to use, so let's go ahead and import those. We need the graphics class for drawing. And we also need the color class because we're going to be drawing in random colors. And then we're also going to use the random class. And this class allows us to generate the random numbers that we need in order to draw random, randomly sized circles, random colors, different positions on the, on the canvas. Let's take a look at the Java docs for the random class real quick. And so this is the, is the random class. And we'll see that it has some methods that look similar to those that we use in the scanner, next double, next float, next int, and so forth. Um, but these are actually used to generate what are called pseudo-random numbers. They're not really random. Computers can't be random. But what they do is simulate randomness using mathematical formulas. And um, through that, um, through the random class, we're able to get a series of random numbers that or series of numbers that appear to be random. So the method that we're going to be using in this particular program is this next int that's passed an int argument. If we don't pass an argument, we get a random integer between zero and the maximum integer um, available in Java. Here, if we pass an int argument, for example, 100, this will generate a random number between 0 and 99. And so this is the um, method that we're going to use to generate the random um, positions and sizes and colors that we need in our program. So let's go back to JEdit here. And I'm going to call this um, class random circles. method header 
And before I go any further, I'm going to go ahead and save this as a Java file so it'll color code and indent correctly and so forth. Save this as random circles.java. All right. So the first thing that I need to do in my drawing program is to instantiate my drawing canvas. And to do that, we say drawing canvas. Give it a name. I'm going to call it canvas. And just say equals new drawing canvas. I'm also going to get the graphics object from the canvas so I can use that for drawing. So to do that, we say graphics. G equals canvas dot get graphics. And that will return a graphics object that we can use. Next I'm going to instantiate a random object that I'm going to use to generate my random numbers. So I called it rand, and I'll use rand.nextint to generate the integers that we need in this program. So the first integers that I'm going to generate are the ones to generate a random color. I'm going to tab this over because later on I'm going to put it inside a loop. So first we're going to generate a random color. Now recall that colors are represented in Java with RGB values. Um, and these are integer values between 0 and 255. So we can create a new color by giving it specific RGB values um, when we can instantiate the object, the color object, or we can generate random values, which is what we're going to do here for red, green, and blue, and that will give us a random color. I'm going to generate red. Now because I want a value between 0 and 255, I'm going to pass it the number 256. I'm going to do the same for green. I read my brand. And for blue. So once I have those three integer values, I can use those to instantiate a random color by saying color. C equals, or I'm, instead of C, I'll call it random color. That's a better name. Color random color equals new color, and we just pass it, pass the constructor red, green, and blue. And those are our random values. And so each time we run this, we'll get a different random set of random RGB values, and so we'll get a different color circle. Um, other random values that we're going to generate are the, the size of the circle or the width of the circle. And to do that, I'll declare width. Now, um, I'd probably like my circles to be up to about 200 pixels or 150, 200 pixels wide. However, if I just say um, rand.nextint uh, 151, for example, to generate a number between 0 and 150, those really small numbers are going to give me circles that are so tiny I'm not even going to be able to see them. And so I'd really like to be able to generate a random circle width between, let's say, 50 and 150. So to do that, what I'll do is generate a random int between 1 and 100 by passing 101, and I'll add 50 to it. That way my circles won't be too small. Now I'd like to generate random XY coordinates. Now I'd like for that X coordinate to be anywhere on the canvas. And in order to do that, I actually need to know how wide the canvas is. Um, and I know approximately it's about 600 pixels or so, but I don't know exactly. Um, and it's nice that the canvas has a method 
called get width that will return the actual width of the canvas in pixels. So I can use that to generate a random x coordinate. It has a similar method called get height. that I can use to generate a random Y coordinate. Now I have a random color, a random size, and a random position. And so now I can use my graphics object to set the color. So instead of using something like color.red, I'm just going to use my random color that I generated up above to set the color. Now I'm going to draw the circle. I'm going to use the fill oval method because we don't have a fill circle. We just have to use fill oval and make the height and width the same. And we pass fill oval an x coordinate, a y coordinate, and width width so that it'll actually be a circle. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm missing a curly brace. No, I'm okay. So I'm going to go ahead and save this and compile and run it. Go over here, Java C random circles Java. And let's see how do here. Okay, no errors. Great. Now I'm going to run this program. See what happens. And there, I've got a kind of grayish circle up there in the corner. Now if I run this again, I've got a different colored circle in a different position, different size. I'm going to try it one more time here. And run it again. And that one's smaller and in a different place and so forth. So now I'm going to go in and insert a loop in here so that I can draw multiple circles, uh, random circles in the same program. So I'm going to put a loop around all of this code that generates the random color, the random width, and the random xy coordinates. So I'm going to draw, write a loop to draw circles. And I'll just do 20 of them. I could declare a constant to tell how many if I wanted to, but I'm just going to use a uh, int literal here. Use 20. Alright. Let's save this. And we'll compile and run it again. And run it, and there we've got some. We've got 20 circles, but I notice that some of them are going off the edge of the canvas. And the reason for that is because we're using the width and height of the canvas as the possible xy coordinates, and the xy is in the upper left-hand corner um, of the of the oval. So. Um, in order to keep it from going off the edge of the canvas, what we can do here is when we generate this random xy coordinates, instead of just using get width, let's subtract the width of the circle from that. So then it will be, um, the number will be small enough that there will be room for the circle. On the canvas and it won't draw off the edge. Let's save it and see if that works. And we'll run it. And now we've got our 20 random circles and none of them are going off the edge. And I'll run it one more time to just show you that it's going to generate a different set of circles. And so that's an example using the random class to um, draw random shapes and random positions using random colors. Um, and so that's all for, for this time. See you next time. Thanks.